Now on You the Consumer, Donna Diener of KNXT reports on a revolutionary new communications device. You have seen it. It is gaining rapidly in popularity. But as Donna cautions, there are a number of things to consider before you rush out to buy. If you've been attracted by all the ads for those convenient portable cordless telephones, you aren't alone. Right now, there are over 2 million portable phones in homes all over the country. And with competition uh, forcing yeah, prices yeah, down, telephone. more people are buying them all the time. And they've made it all very simple for the consumer. All you have to do is just plug one cord of this base into an electrical socket. The other cord goes into the regular phone jack. Then you're portable. Now this portable component, depending on the model, will go as far as a thousand feet away from the base without any problem. And you can make and receive calls from all over the world. Yet even though the industry says portable phones are the wave of the future, there is one major problem. The cordless handsets work on radio frequencies, and right now there aren't enough frequencies allotted for those phones to meet future demands. There's only five channels available for use, so if uh, five or six neighbors on the same street get the same channel, there's a lot of congestion overlapping. So you might not be able to get your calls through, or you'll get interference with your calls, or what? Interference, static, uh, there's even a possibility that uh, uh, you could be totally unusable on a telephone system if uh, all you have is a cordless telephone. The portable phone industry has asked the Federal Communications Commission for more frequencies to meet the projected demand, but that's easier asked than done because all frequencies are already claimed by broadcasters who don't want to give any part of them up. And there are some other problems with portable phones. Consumers complain that regardless of the price, they simply don't sound as good as a regular telephone. We compared a $250 model with one costing less than $100, and they both had static. Some retailers tell us they won't even carry certain brands because the sound quality is so bad. We check every one of them that they bring to sell to us. We check them, and we check them right here in the store and make sure with all the obstacles we have on the way that if they have a good reception or not. You have to I reject think. a lot of them? Yes, we do have to reject a lot. Other people who bought portable phones later found they didn't have necessary features, such as electronic touch tone. Just because the phone has push buttons doesn't mean it's really touch tone. This model actually dials the older rotary way. You couldn't use it with some long distance services that require touch tone. And with the telephone industry moving toward total touch tone, a phone without it could be obsolete in a few years. Now here's a portable phone that really has a lot of limitations. The push buttons for dialing out are in the base unit. They're not in the handset. Therefore, if you're out in the yard or something and you want to make a telephone call from your handset, you can't do it. You have to come all the way back into the house where your base unit is plugged in to dial your number. If you're thinking about buying a portable phone, it's a good idea to carefully list how and where you'll be using it and exactly what features you'll need. Also, you might find out if the retailer has actually tested the phones he's selling to see if they really work as well as the advertising claims. Donna Diener for CBS News, Los Angeles. Coming up next, Americans Assassin.